So this weekend at the Dallas Expo Center, one of the country's most highly acclaimed indoor fine art and craft festivals is taking place. Joining us today to talk more about the Craftsman Fall Classic is Mary Ann Bessie, an artist from Stanton, Virginia, who participates in craft shows across Virginia, North Carolina, and South Carolina. So welcome, ma'am. It's good to see you. Thank you very much for being here. So Thank you've got all kinds of pretty pictures here. I'm just going to step to the side a little bit so we can show them off. Thank you. And, and I mean, and you're holding one right now. This yep. was fun from the summer, right? Like a yep. 4th of July kind of party. Right. Want to hold that up just for a second? Sure. So how long have you been participating in the Craftsman Classic? Can you guys see About that? 20 years. Really? Yeah. It's been a long time. Now, and how did you get involved with it? Oh, um, you apply and it's a juried show. So mm -hmm. if you're fortunate, you get to be in the show and such a good show that, you know, they have lots and lots of applicants. Right. So I'm happy to be there. Of course. Now, how is this craft show different from others? This is a very upscale, classy show. Mm -hmm. the, the, the artists and the craftspeople who are there are among the best in this, the East Coast, in my opinion. There's paintings, the photography, uh, right. jewelry. Mm -hmm. um, oh, we've seen some pictures here. Yeah, a, mm -hmm. a lot, a lot of variety, and this time of the year is a great time to be doing the show because mm -hmm. um, a lot of people focus on seasonal work, like you know, right. Halloween and Christmas, and so there's a lot of seasonal things going on. Yeah. So it's really a lot of energy, huge, you know, huge number of participants, two or three hundred artists. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So what's the benefit of having the opportunity of the interaction between the customer and the artist? That's the best part. You know, it is? Because, okay. because I sit, I paint in my booth. Okay. So I have a lot of people who say, well, how do you do that? Where do you get your ideas? How long does it take? And so I can actually spend a, a fair amount of time teaching what I'm doing. And all the vendors are that way. We all mm -hmm. like to interact with the, with the um, people who are coming through because have you ever been inspired by somebody who came up and started talking absolutely. to you? Absolutely, I say my my um, customers are the smartest people on earth. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Okay, so you like that? And, and how long would it take you to paint something like See, this? See, you asked the right question. Okay. <laughs> oh, um, I generally allow a good month to do a painting. Really? Sometimes I get through faster. It depends. You know. Yeah, it depends on what's Sometimes going on. Sometimes it takes longer. Like this one took me two months. Okay. You know, this one was forever. <laughs> so now, what happens if you're starting? This is a beautiful picture. I don't know if we can Thank zoom you. in here. The monument, the Capitol behind it, Key Bridge. So what happens if, let's just say, you started on the monument and and you didn't like it? The shading, the coloring. Well, paint it out and start over. <laughs> really? You just kind of scribble out and start That's over. That's why it took so long. I, re I redid everything in there. It's been redone about six times. Oh my goodness! Yeah, until you get it to work. Yeah. But until I can walk away and, and hold it up in front of somebody and not be embarrassed. Well, <laughs> you have nothing to be embarrassed about no, at no, all. No, no, I'm not. I'm very proud of it. Yes, and this one down here with the with the it's balloons. The James River. There's a okay. um, um, hot air balloon festival, and I went down and took photographs. So it's hot air hot air yeah. balloon festival. So okay, so demonstrating your work. I mean, how does that differ from typical shopping and being out with customers and all that? Well, you I mean, get to you know, the the customers, the people who are interested, mm -hmm. actually interact with the maker of the product, and that's true all over the building. I mean, okay. you've got you've got potters who are they're not necessarily potting, but they can explain their entire process with right. the photographers. Because people are fascinated. <coughs> yeah, everybody is really um, happy to talk about what they do mm -hmm. because it's what you do all the time. It's a how did you get started? Did you just start uh, as a little girl and start no, coloring or something? No, or no, no. I was I didn't like working out away from home, <laughs> and I had babies, okay. and I started painting, and it was um, successful. Yeah, that's <laughs> so good. So I, I kept doing it, and now the babies are gone, and I keep doing it. <laughs> Do they paint at all, your children? Um, one's a dancer, and one's a nurse. So, so everybody's no. artistic in a way. Yeah. Yeah, they got the artistic genes. Yeah, they didn't want to do what Mama was doing. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much for coming. We thank appreciate you. it. So yeah. we're going to see paintings like this from your exhibit. Oh yeah, yeah. At I the have, Dallas Expo. I have a. You know, the booths are big. They're okay. ten by tens or ten by fifteens. Mine's okay. a ten by fifteen. It's huge. Okay. There are others, and and just an enormous amount of stuff. Enormous. All right. I love it. Beautiful work here. Thank you, Thank you very Beautiful. much. Beautiful. I love the Christmas one, too. That's nice. Yeah. All right. Well, make sure you check out the Craftsman's Fall Classic. It's happening this weekend over at the Dallas Expo in Chantilly. And for more information, go to thecraftshow.com. Stay with us. We'll have more of Let's Talk Live coming up after the break.